those who are involved in the harassment. Let them know that we are unprotected. We do not fear them. We are not intimidated. We do not fear people who fear us. We also are not afraid of ensuring that the backbone of our democracy, namely the electoral process, is given full effect. This is something that we are prepared to do. And if it means addressing the constitutional court whilst we are in prison, we are happy to do so. If it means addressing the constitutional court whilst on death, then we are happy to do so. If it means addressing the constitutional court with half our news, we are happy and ready to do so. You notice that there has also been an attempt to destroy our evidence to let guys to let should have done that before the elections. The evidence is secure um, and there is nothing that is going to happen. You, you will notice that there are some some warrants which report to, to deal with matters of violence and that's when you look at those papers, they talk about computers. What, what kind of computer would show the commission of acts of violence and aggression? You can see that the intention is to access the data that we have. That data cannot be accessed. That data is going to be seen for the first time in the application. But those desperate attempts speak to the fact that there is something which these people want to hide. And it is that something which they want to hide which we are going to fully expose. Uh, so many people are going to be embarrassed, but ultimately the will of the people of Zimbabwe is going to prevail. The vote cast by Zimbabweans is going to be vindicated. Um, because of the the eggs that I complain about, it then becomes clear that there's also going to be an attempt to harass and intimidate those who might determine this application. Uh, we call upon the harassers to desist from that. Judicial independence is at the heart of our democracy. Judicial independence is at the heart of our processes. Uh, and I would also wish to say it is only when independence is attacked that its essence comes out. So may all the institutions, may all the systems, may all personnel involved ensure that there is going to be independence, ensure that men and women of integrity we have been constitutionally appointed to deal with mortal disputation. Are allowed to do so, are allowed to call it a basic. This harassing of people, the kind of which we've gone through, should not be extended to those men and women. We do not know less. So Zimbabwe, do your bit to ensure that judicial independence is done. Uh, the last time I addressed the press conference, I was told that I was going to be arrested because I addressed that press conference. I can assure you that I've conferred with my lawyers who told me that there's nothing arrestable, there's nothing which will lead to an arrest in the conference that I just delivered. So Zimbabwe, um, this, this is where we are at. Um, soon and very soon we'll be coming through the papers that have been found in court and you will make your own Thank you very much. I'll take questions going around the room. I'll start here and then go around. Okay. One. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you're, you're, you're the first to ask me the question last time around. <laughs> no, no, it's so lucky. I was, like, <laughs> I was the last one. Ah, it's okay. So, uh, advocate. 
when are you going to turn Why? Uh, papers would be called. Thank you. The Constitution allows us a period of seven days, reckoned from the date of declaration, yes. in which to file the papers. And my answer to you is that we will file within the time period that the Constitution. So you don't have a date that you can give I do. today? I do. No, that you can give today? No, I don't want to give it. Okay, you don't want to give yes, it? Yes, but okay. all, all I can say is that we are filing within the time period that the Constitution. Uh, advocate, can you confirm that you have all the relevant papers from all the politicians? Absolutely. We have everything that we that we require for the purposes of, of this challenge. Uh, and you, you're going to go through the relevance, you're going to go through the results and this you're going to go through the evidence that you're going to see uh, on the on that CD that you got from Zek, and you make your own. Yeah. So you're talking about uh, harassment. What form of harassment are you? We are being followed. Um, we are being attacked left, right, and center. Um, there are reports of arrests and imminent arrests all over the place. It's, it's the same, the same old nonsense reloaded. Um, so, so that is that is what really is is there. But the the attempt is to unhinge the technical team. Uh, the attempt is to distract the technical team. The attempt is to ensure that the technical team does not do its work. But that is not going to happen. The technical team has already done its work. That is not going to happen. The technical team is going to do its work. That is not going to happen. This is a democratic country. Uh, people who are aggrieved by processes have the right to go to court. And nobody can interfere with the exercise of that kind of fight. Um, we have seen reports saying that one of the NDC principals has been arrested. Can you give us any update on this and tell us what exactly is happening? Was he fleeing the country and if so, why? When you have just said that he prepared to be arrested or even prepared to die in this country five years ago? Yes, um, I speak on behalf of the President Nelson Chavisa. President Nelson Chavisa will speak on behalf of his own people. I speak on behalf of the technical team. President Jamisa will speak on behalf of the politicians. Yes, yes. Uh, so when I tell you that we are ready uh, to, to defend the court challenge mounted with our lives, I relate to us as the lawyers and the technical team. Uh, you ask President Jamisa about all those other issues and you will be with them. Um, advocate, uh, there, there's been press uh, conference after press conference in terms of you filing this paper. Um, are, are we not seeing uh, you just throwing the dog, dog uh, to the, the <coughs> dog to the dogs without actually just really going to file this? Because we have read announcements after announcements that you're going to file. That sounds like listen. <laughs> yes, sure. Yeah, how are you blessed? <laughs> There's been no press conference after press conference, is it? Uh, that is not true as a matter of fact. The fact of premise from which you proceed, the fact of premise uh, on which you pitch your question uh, is clearly incorrect. So this is the first press conference that I've addressed which deals with this issue. But as I've indicated, blessed, we've prepared the papers. There you there there you can you can come through them. There you are. We've prepared them. We prepared them, and the evidence that we require, blessed, is known to you. You know the evidence. <laughs> you do. And in fact, if I were to leave this seat and ask you to sit here, you'll tell us exactly what it is that we are saying in our papers without it. So there is no way that we can allow this kind of process to go unchallenged. The process has its difficulties, but there are certain things. Uh, that must be done. And we are convinced uh, that once this has been placed before a court, they, they can only do part one particular outcome. But look, ultimately, the call is to be made by the court. I will take four last questions. One, two, two three, four. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, I have read in the Herald today that uh, some of you have uh, prepared uh, about 12 lawyers on their side. 
Is this case uh, directly uh, made for Zambia or Zimbabwe Electoral Commission? Well, what you we have a thousand of, lawyers. What do you make of that uh, reaction? Mm -hmm. They prepared twelve lawyers with a thousand. I have read from the um, the the challenge is to an electoral process. The electoral process is a safe process. Uh, of course, it involves certain malpractices, uh, which, which includes Zambia. Uh, Zambia is a direct beneficiary of those malpractices <coughs> in our view. But the challenge is to a process, and that is not a Zambia process, it is a Z uh, process. Uh, if Zambia desired to apply us, uh, good for them, we buy the house. Uh, your client has in the past uh, complained about the capture of the bench by the ruling party. How confident are you that the, the Constitutional Court will you hear your case fair, given the prior statements that is okay, You complained about the capture of the bench by the ruling party. I'm not in those complaints. Um, I, I do not have a brief on those complaints. I'm not prepared to talk about those complaints. What I'm prepared to talk about is the process that I'm leading. It is a court process. Um, I'm satisfied that the evidence is not just overwhelming, as we usually say in court, but it is a nice. Um, that will give the court the opportunity to call it a decision. Uh, I've been a lawyer all my life. Law is what I know, and law is what I know. Thank you. Uh, just before the election, you spoke about filling a power transfer deal with the relevant authorities. What happened to that deal? Uh, power is transferred upon a declaration that the person is one. So that declaration is going to come and the power shall be taken. Do you have enough evidence to stop the inauguration on Sunday? The, there is no inauguration happening on, on Sunday. Look, this is the legal position. Once a result has been announced, you have seven days within which to challenge that result. Uh, the inauguration process involves the Chief Justice. The Chief Justice is also on the other end, the head of the Constitutional Court. So it is not possible for a man of the integrity, or a man of the knowledge, or a man of the experience of our Chief Justice to preside over a nomination process of a president when there is a challenge to the declaration of the result. So, can be no duration on Thursday, on Sunday, so it's not possible uh, as a matter of law. It's just not possible. If you lose, what's the way forward? Is it court? You were asking me this as a lawyer. If I, <laughs> <laughs> if I lose as a lawyer, I must. <laughs> and then the whole court is not. No, 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 no. You've asked me this as a lawyer. If I lose as a lawyer, I've lost. Yes. I hope that I'm not the case. Thank you. You can stand <laughs> well, if I lose, I have lost. The Constitutional Court is the highest court uh, in the land. So there is no appeal against the designation of the Constitutional Court. So if you ask me as a lawyer, what will you do if you lose in the highest court? If I lose in the highest court, I have lost as a lawyer. Thank you. <laughs> but ask that question to President Chabisa <coughs> and see what kind of answer he gives you. I do not have instruction on that kind of an action. Right. Uh, thank you very much for coming. I uh, will see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you.